Not only is our first guest the co-founder of Wolfram Research, the makers of Mathematica, but he writes for Popular Science. He makes wooden periodic table tables, and he's going to show us how to make ice cream using liquid nitrogen. Welcome to the Screen Savers, Teo Gray. Hello. That's very cool. Now, before we get started on the ice cream, I should probably ask you, I think a lot of people watching now are familiar with Mathematica. I know that it's an amazing program that I don't understand on a lot of levels because I have trouble doing anything beyond arithmetic and subtraction, and even those on a good day. Tell us about what Mathematica really does. Well, so, I mean, normally I'd be here telling you about what a great program Mathematica is. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a, a, a general purpose mathematics or technical computing program. So mm -hmm. it does... Uh, it does math, it does algebra, calculus, you know, symbolic mathematics, plotting, graphics, programming language, data analysis. You know, pretty much if you're, um, you know, if you're, uh, use math in your field, if you're a student or if you're engineering, research, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, Mathematica is uh, sort of the, 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 tool the, of choice. the tool of choice, yes. No, we actually did um, splash that for a second, a periodic table table. Can right. that back up again? That was cool. Yes, well, right. Like, like I said, normally I'd be here telling you about Mathematica, but that has absolutely nothing to do with uh, why I'm here. This, this is a hobby of mine that I got started with a couple years ago when we needed a conference table for my office, and I thought, well, you know, um, let's, do let's, the periodic let's table. make a periodic table, and, you know, we need a table, so we'll make a table. Um, cool. And that kind of, you know, one thing led to another, and I ended up writing this column for Popular Science, which is about sort of amateur science kinds of mm -hmm. things. Uh, we did an article on how to uh, melt metal in a microwave oven. That was one of my favorites. And that's actually where the liquid and, uh, nitrogen ice cream We did the liquid nitrogen ice cream. That's right, for the July issue, appropriately enough. So, so we're, uh, we're I should say, we're making ice cream and with liquid started, nitrogen. Yeah. Okay, we're I'm going to put on my here. safety glasses. So we're, we're going to do this all. We're going to start. This is some uh, half and half here. Just for a proper cooking show, we'd have little bowls here, but we're doing it the uh, tech TV <laughs> way. Yeah, we're a little low rent for the eyes. Uh, I like it. So I ask, where did this come? Where did the idea for this come from? Well, there are various stories. I've heard that there was a salesman for a, a, a liquefied gases company that started doing this for customers. And I put in some sugar. This is a real guy-friendly recipe. You know, no cooking, a little bit of danger. We would have had a, a power tool also, but it didn't work out. And so you see one of the Dremel tools is in the back. The egg's a little uh, thick, I just noticed. Well, you got you got to beat it up some. I'm beaten. And I put some vanilla there, a little more. Now we need some of this TV, so we need good color here. You can do it more, and you can get it all over out, mixed up there. Yeah, I forgot how much an egg beater can sort of coat everyone in the room with. All right. So how does this actually, so are we actually going to pour the liquid nitrogen? Oh, I guess I'm yeah. actually going to pour you're, the liquid nitrogen. You're going to pour the liquid nitrogen, that's right. So right, I we think, notice uh, you're using a wok here. and a wooden spoon. I'm sure there's right. a reason for that. Well, I like to keep my hands a little bit away from the liquid nitrogen. Uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, big how cost. cold is liquid nitrogen? It's real cold. Yeah. Awfully cold. cold. Minus cold enough to 170 you. Celsius. Now, we should point out that I'm not wearing gloves, and that's actually the proper way to handle liquid nitrogen yeah. we've recently discovered. You want to pour a little in there first? All right. Oop, there we go. Now, everyone's Let's panicking. See. Now we learned why the importance of not wearing canvas shoes, because when it spills down on your shoes, it kind of tends to soak in if you don't have... Uh... But it rolled off beautifully right off right. of the table. How much should I stop? Uh, no, keep going. Keep okay. going. You get a good bit here. Don't be shy. You never have too much liquid nitrogen. You know, you say that, but boy, it sounds really intense over here. So it's actually, gloves are actually a... Uh, 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 gloves are a bad idea. You talk to any chemist, oh, that's enough for a little while. Oh, here, let, me, let me chop it up a little here. We don't want to form a crust here. That's bad. Okay, <laughs> no crust. Um, <laughs> you want to keep this nice and stirred up. Gloves are a bad idea because liquid nitrogen actually will not hurt you if you just kind of pour it over your skin or whatever splashes on you. So we actually, I can actually reach in here and touch the liquid well, nitrogen? Well, if you had some in there, you could. There's there are, in no, there. it's in there. I can see it splashing. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can touch it. It's, it's not going to hurt you. Um, as long as you don't do it for too long. We can get a little so don't, don't sit it in there for a while. Yeah. Now, if you're wearing I'm gloves, for example, if you're wearing gloves and some splashes down behind the cuffs or whatever gets down in the fingers, that's bad. Um, that's or, why, yeah, keep going. As you pointed out, my bad. shoes are definitely bad. Right, because they can actually catch the liquid nitrogen in the Take shoe. Take out your shoes. No, not Leo, right now. Okay, that's, uh, let me stir a little more here. This is pretty exciting. So, you know, obviously kids would want adult supervision. Adults should make sure the kids are wearing safety goggles and not standing at face level to the liquid nitrogen. This is amazing. I think we're pretty close here. Give me a little bit more. Wow. Just, just a touch more. A smidge? A smidge, yeah. A pinch. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, we're getting nice and stiff here. I think we got it. I know I am. Just this is amazing. Many. 
Now you Cold may wonder. Cold got nothing on us. <laughs> All right, we're down here. Do we have any bowls? Put this yeah, in. Yeah, actually, we've got. Uh, do we have a? Do we have any volunteers who'd like? Some? I know Leo wants some. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, see, you're pretty safe with this because you, you might wonder what, how do we know that this is not going to just freeze your throat? The, the answer is that with straight cream like this, if it were too cold to eat, it would be too cold to serve. So basically, um, you'd have a brick. Yeah, you'd have a brick. And that's why you don't want to use alcohol in this mixture, as, as he was just saying, because that will depress the freezing point. You actually can, if you put too much alcohol in, end up with something that's smooth and creamy. That's, that's right. But it's so cold that it would just freeze your throat. It could kill you. Sure. So watch the alcohol recipes. What about fruit and stuff? Fruit, I, I kind of personally don't like the... Uh, I'm serious. It's I don't creamy, like anything solid it's in here. It's delicious and low calorie. I don't know about low calories. <laughs> right, the nitrogen, is, it sucks all the calories right out. That's now, a scientific fact. There's no nitrogen fact. left in here, is there? I mean, it's gone, right? No, well, there may be some bubbles. You know, it may have fluffed it up a little bit. The main reason it's creamy is because, you know, when you freeze water, the, the size of the ice crystals depends on how slowly it cools. Right. People slowly grow brig crystals. This cool very fast. No crystals. So we have very, very small, mm. you know, very fine grain structure. Mm. Teo, this is awesome. We have a, a whole recipe for liquid nitrogen ice cream and mm. links to get your own periodic table. Mm. Table and a 15-day trial of Mathematica up at the screensavers.com. Oh, so Mathematica is amazing. Thanks, man. Will you come back and show us some Mathematica tricks? Sure. Mm. Excellent. Folks, stay put. A little later, widgets are taking over. I'm going to show you objects and desktop X. And up next, Art's oh, website right. has gotten buried under spam. We're going to help them dig out again. And right now, we're going to eat some ice cream. Ice we'll cream. see you when the screensavers continues. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.